This video deals with the interfacing of keyboard with the 8051 microcontroller. Interfacing means 8051 microcontroller is connected to keyboard. Here keyboards are organized in a matrix of rows and columns. The CPU access both rows and columns through ports. As you all know 8051 consists of 4 8-bit ports. Therefore, an 8x8 matrix of keys can be connected to the processor. So, what is the aim of this interfacing? Microcontroller has to detect the key pressed. Whenever a key has been pressed in the keyboard, microcontroller has to scan the keyboard continuously to detect and identify the key pressed. So, when a key is pressed, the row and column makes a contact, otherwise there will be no connection between rows and columns. So let us see the interfacing diagram of keyboard. Here you can see cables are connected by means of rows and columns. Port 1 which act as the output port to which rows are connected. D0 to D3 rows are connected to port 1 which will act as the output port. Port 2 which will act as the input port to which columns are connected. Keys ranges from 0 to 9 as well as from A to F. If no key has been pressed, reading this input port will show all 1 since these columns are all connected to VCC. High supply. If all the rows are grounded, and a key is pressed. One of the columns will have zero. Since the key press provides a path to ground. So there the function of microcontroller arrives to scan the keyboard continuously to detect and identify the key pressed. Suppose if I have pressed this key number 5. Key number 5 belongs to D first row as well as to D tooth column. So reading this row value will give you 1, 0, 1, 1 since this key press belongs in this D first row. And reading the column will give you the value 1, 1, 0, 1 since this fifth key belongs to D tooth column. So let us see how this key has been detected by the microcontroller. So first it will ground this D0 to row. Then it will read all columns. If all values in the columns are found to be high, it means that key press does not belong to this row. Then it will ground D first to row. Then it will read all columns. If it reads the columns, a key press has been occurred here. Since the key has been pressed here, microcontroller detects that a key has been pressed. Then it will wait for a 20 millisecond delay. Why this 20 millisecond delay is that first key press was not an erroneous one that is it is not due to some noises also it prevents the same key press from being interrupted as a multiple key press if after this 20 millisecond delay also he is still in pressed condition it goes to the next stage to detect which in which row it belongs to and in which column that key press has been occurred. So grounding this D first row, it detects that a key press has been occurred in this D first row. Since I have pressed key number 5. So upon finding this row, that is it has already found that D first row key has been pressed it sets up the starting address from the lookup table holding the scan codes for that row and goes to the next stage to identify the key. So it founds that a key press has been 
detected in this D first row and it gets the scan code from the lookup table. Then to identify this key press, then the microcontroller rotates the column bits. First it will rotate the D0 to column bit. When in D0 to column bit through a carry bit, if the carry bit value also shows it as I, then it will rotate the D first column bit. Then it also shows it as I value. Then it will rotate the D second column bit. If the carry value shows a low value, then it pulls out the ASCII code for that key from the lookup table. Otherwise, it will increment the pointer to the next element of the lookup table. So, it finally detects that key press has been occurred in the D second column and D first row. So, we will go through flowchart. First, as I have already told you, it will ground all rows. Read all columns. If all keys are open, that means the value shows it as 1111, then no key has been pressed, then it will again read all columns. All keys open, yes, it will read all columns again. Then, if a key is found to be down, that is, if there is any key press has been dictated or occurred, then the value in that particular column will show it as low value, then it will wait for 20 millisecond delay. That means it has to identify it that this 20 millisecond, it will check that this key press as occurred was not due to some noises or it was not due to some multiple or it is not due to some interpretation of key press. Then it will start reading all columns. If all columns, uh, reading all columns will yield once for all columns, it means that there is no key press has been occurred. It will again go to the initial process and starting from the initial process, it will reach here. If there is a key down, it will first ground the first row. Then it will read all columns. If the key press not belongs to that row, it will again ground the second row. If the key press belongs to second row, then it will find which key is pressed. Get scan code from table and return. Hope you have understood this video. Thank you.